If you're hitting the water this weekend, you may want to think twice. The St. John's River is seeing a lot of toxic algae in the water. The blooms are being spotted as far north as the Dames Point. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker spent the day on the river. She tells us why we are seeing so much of these toxins. It's not lime green paint or Ninja Turtle toxic waste. It's algae blooms. Biology and marine scientists say it's toxic and harmful to you and your pets. So this particular type of cyanobacteria known as microcystis, it can adjust its buoyancy and it tends to gather at the surface. And so your animals can come out of the water with this algae on their fur. They may lick it off and they can die within a matter of hours. The algae are also indirectly harming marine life in the river. You get a proliferation of algae. What does it do? It shades all the grasses that the manatees like to eat. And so if that gets shaded, it dies. And then the manatees have no food. He uses a device to measure the quality, temperature, and salt in the water to see how it affects the blooms. They say too many nutrients in the water, warm weather, and rain helps these toxins thrive. Like most urban environments, we have too many nutrients. And so we're trying to work with JEA and various other stakeholders to bring those down. The Department of Health Thursday says algae was spotted at Dames Point. There's also reports of blooms at the jetties and Hannah Park. We're a tidally influenced estuary here in the river. And so when the river is outgoing, everything that's in the river is going to go with it. And any of the blooms that we see, those can come with it as well. And once the water cools, I'm told the blooms will die off. One way you can help this is to not put as much fertilizer in your yard. That's going to eventually end up in the water. The Department of Environmental Protection has a dashboard available on their website for you to report algae bloom sightings. We have that information available right now on newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker Channel for the local station. Tomorrow at 740 on the morning show, the St. John's Riverkeeper Lisa Reineman will let us know what you can expect if you do plan to head out to the water this weekend.